and really gently circling your head around, trying to keep your chest open. Good. Your shoulders open. Really breathing. Good. Taking some nice deep breaths in and out. Good, and going at your own speed. And whenever you feel ready, you can take your head over to the left and gently just stretch the right side of your neck. Yeah, good. You're right. And then, um, and you can either be directly side or you can be a little side front. So whichever works for you, yeah. And you can like stay in one place for a bit and then, and then go to another place for a bit. You just don't, you don't wanna be too far back. Not good for your neck, yeah, good. And then whenever you feel ready, you can take your head directly to the front and stretch the back of your neck really gently. Also, if you'd like, you can do a little gentle rocking movement side to side. If you're just stretching, you could take both of your hands behind your head and use them to help you stretch or just simply stretch your neck as it is. And then, yeah, just take some deep breaths wherever you are, good. And then when you feel ready, you can place your hands back on your knees and then you can just gently sort of circle around your torso, starting to move a little bit, trying to still think about opening up our shoulders, good breathing, creating a nice circular movement, moving our head along with the movement, organically, <laughs> in an organic way. Good. And then whenever you feel ready, start to circle the other way Good. at your own speed. Enjoying the movement and moving in a way that feels natural to you. Good. And then when you feel ready, you can kind of, you can stay facing front. You can arch your back and then curve, you can, and then curve, no, okay. And then arch your back and curve your back and arch your back and curve your back. And then you can either stay with this flow here or if you'd like, you can make your way to all fours or stay right here. I like to put a pillow under my knees in tabletop just to keep my knees nice and comfortable. Yeah, and see, good. So place your hands right below your shoulders, your knees right below your hips, your shoulders and your hips might not be the same width. Yeah, so your hands might be wider. Let's exhale and go into a round and back. Good, and then inhale, go into a dog or a cow, good. And exhale, Go into a cat. Good. Inhale into a dog, also known as the cow. Good. Exhale, cat, at your own speed and your own time, your own rhythm. Good. And then make any movement here in tabletop you'd like. One nice option is to kind of circle your hips around, down, and then back up. That could be a nice option. You can also circle your ribs around and your head around if you'd like. That's another good option. So whatever would work for you, just 
make some gentle movements around either circular movements, good, or kind of your own like improv movement thing. Good. Yeah, good, yeah. And then if you're doing a circular movement, feel free to circle around the other way. Or if you're sort of doing your own improv thing, feel free to keep on doing that. That's really great too. Make sure your shoulder blades are sliding towards your tailbone, yeah? So if you're standing up, that would mean your shoulders are relaxing down, good. And then whenever you feel ready, we have a few options, good. You can either come to a child's pose here with your hands in front of you. You can bend your arms or your hands can be behind you. So if you feel comfortable there, that's great. Yeah, you can just stay there. Another option would be to do a down dog, lifting your hips into the air. If you'd like to do that, that's a great option too. Okay, with nice bent knees. And if neither of these feels comfortable to you, another option would be to roll onto your back and, and do another nice knees to chest pose, yeah. So whichever feels comfortable to you, you can take your knees wide here or narrow, um, whichever feels better for you. And really just sort of really breathe, try to relax your hips, try to relax your head a little bit, um, try to relax, find a place for your arms where you can really Relax those shoulders, good. And breathe. Just take some nice breaths in and out and really just try to breathe. No. <laughs> Maybe if you take off the shoes off. Oh no, my shoes are fine. Yeah. Why don't you try the rolling onto your chest or your back? Okay. Oh, okay, more to your right. And your hips a little more to the left. Yeah. Well, yeah. Okay. So wherever you are, um, let's come back to tabletop position. Nice and slow. And then eventually let's make our way to the back of our mat coming up onto our make any movements you need to and then eventually let's sort of come to this nice crouched position at the back of our mat let's connect our heels to the ground drop our head and then slowly roll up through your spine vertebrae by vertebrae feeling our shoulders relax down our back good and really open up your back and your chest good and you can interlace your hands behind your back like this or if you have a belt or a strap i unfortunately don't right now but yeah i have an extension cord but i don't know if that would go well good <laughs> you can kind of like <laughs> interlace them behind your back or take a strap if you have a tight chest yeah and kind of go like this yeah and then, yeah, just really stretch nice and tall, really lengthen through your spine. Good. Stretch your spine out really, really long. Think of your tailbone pointing down, yeah, 
your head reaching up. Good. You want your weight on your whole foot, so you don't want to be too far back. Yeah, and then your feet should be right under your hips. Yeah, and you're really stretching your spine out nice and long and reaching up towards the ceiling. Good. And then let's gently let those hands go. Let's take our hands to our hips and then stretch our spine up really nice and long and over to the right. So it's like we're kind of, we're making like a rainbow. Yeah, over to the side. Good. And you can add in an arm if you'd like over your head, pressing to the side. Always feel free to put your arms lower and more in front of you if it's stressful on your shoulders to have them over your head. So that's always an option, yeah? Good. And you wanna make sure that your torso, it's like as if you were in between two windows, yeah? So, or in a toaster, yeah? And if you were in that toaster and you were like this or like this, you'd get burnt, yeah? So you don't wanna get burnt, yeah? You wanna be just directly flat, yeah? That's sort of the goal, yeah? But don't like force yourself into that, good. And then up to the center and then over to the other side, good. Nice deep breath, really breathing. A nice arc over to the side, like a fountain. Yeah, up and over. You can add in your arm if you'd like. Really breathe, nice deep breaths. Really keep your whole body engaged. Good. Relax where you can and engage to hold yourself in this position. Good. And then back to the center, nice and tall. Good. Let's reach our spine up really nice and tall. And then bend both of our legs down. Good. And then roll up through your spine. Good. So we're bending our legs down. You can exhale. So we're kind of like making a little wave. Good. And then when you roll up, you want to make sure that your shoulders open every time. Good. So you don't, you want those shoulders to open as you come up for sure. Yeah. Good. Relax down and then roll up and relax down and roll up. And one more time. Relax down. Great posture. Good, everyone. Good. And roll down. Press your feet into the floor to roll back up. Exhale, maybe. And back up. Good. And then let's take our arms over our head here. Good. And we'll bend our legs and open our arms. And then bend our arms. Good. And arms up. Good. And bend and up and at your own speed. Good. And really breathing here. Nice deep breaths. Really breathing here. Taking some nice deep breaths in and out and back down. Good. And then up and in and up and down. And then let's take our feet a little bit wider. Bend your legs a little bit. Good. And then you could sort of take your head to the side here. Curve your back forward into the front. And just sort of circle your head around a little bit. Some nice circular motions with your head. You can just stick with your head, or if you'd like, you can add your arms. Yeah. Good. This is the point in, in the class when everyone starts to look very confused. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, right? It's okay to be confused sometimes. Good. 
And then whenever you feel ready, start to go the other way. Good. So circling around the other way. Yay. <laughs> Good. Have fun. Enjoy the movement. <laughs> nice big reaching with your arms. Yay. Very nice. And then if you'd like, you can take your hands to your hips and just sort of gently circle your hips around. Good. Opening up your hips a little bit. If your legs, I like to bend my legs here, but you wanna make sure that your knees are opening. Yeah, so that they're opening to the side. You don't want your knees like this. Yeah, you want them over your ankles. Yeah, and that's, that's for always. Yeah, for all that you always want your knees over your ankles, good. And then whenever you feel ready, you can circle around the other way, just gently opening up your hips, good, and breathing, okay. And then whenever you feel ready, let's just open our chest here and then give yourself a hug, open your chest and Give yourself a hug, open your chest, and give yourself a hug. Good. I still like to bend my knees here, but up to you. Good. Give yourself a hug, open your arms, and give yourself a hug. And then let's file around to the right. Good. Following our hands and touching your back with your hands, touching your back with the back of the back of your first hand. Yeah, good. Spiraling around at your own speed. Really feeling that nice spiraling stretch in your spine. Just flowing from side to side. Yeah, and if you'd like to kind of stay there in a, in a little gentle stretch for a few breaths, that's great too, yeah, good. Just flowing from side to side at your own speed. And then whenever you feel ready, let's just do some sweeping motions. Good, side to side. Just sort of flowing side to side here and really breathing. Good. And then whenever you feel ready, let's find a place perhaps with a wall um, and let's bring our weight to our, we'll bring our weight to our right foot. Good, over to our right foot. And then you can come up onto the, turn it out, and then you can bring it right into your ankle. Yeah. And you can bring that foot to your ankle, up to your calf, or you can reach down and bring it to above your knee. You just don't want it on your knee. Yeah. So pick any position you'd like with your foot here, and then any arm position you want. And then if you'd like, you're also welcome to work on practicing bouncing with your eyes closed. Yeah, but that's sort of why we have the wall, just in case um, things get a little rough. Yeah, so you just want to sort of key into your balance. Yeah, you want to have a nice, strong, supporting side here. Good. Nice and think of a nice long line from your foot all the way up through your head and your spine. That's the line that you're um, balancing on. Try to keep both of your hips facing front. Really breathe here, nice long neck. Shoulders relaxing, deep breaths, and really just breathing, good. And you're welcome to try it with your eyes closed or not. Okay. 
And then when you feel ready, come back to two feet whenever you feel ready. And then let's come up onto the ball to amount of that right foot. Good. And if you have, if you like the wall, you can turn around to the other side. Come up onto the ball to amount of that right foot. Take that right foot into your ankle or up to your calf, or you can reach down and bring it above your knee. Just on your knee isn't great, but below or above. Good. And you can compare any position for the arms that work for you. Keep your, make sure your ribs stay in, don't let them go out. So ribs in, nice and strong. And think of one line of places or the place that you're bouncing on, on your foot, all the way up through your head. Yeah. And that's sort of like your center line of, of balance. Yeah. Good. And you can think of your hips staying to the front. Good. Trying to, try to turn out that knee to the side. Good. And yeah, just breathing. Yeah, good. And, and really opening up your chest. Good. And then whenever you feel ready, let's bring our weight back to two feet. Yeah. And then let's come all the way to the back of our mat. Okay. And then we're just going to, starting at our head, we're going to bend our knees and then just slowly roll down through your spine and get, if you need some water, yeah, you can go for it. Yeah. We'll slowly roll down through your spine, come to a crouch position, and then let's take our hands to one side, take our legs to the other side, and we'll just make our way to a seated position. Yeah. So you can use any props here if you'd like. If you'd like to sit on a cushion because you have the backs of your legs are tight, that can be a nice idea. So whatever is helpful to you. So the first option would be just to stretch and stretch your legs out nice and long in front of you, nice long spine. Just this alone can be really challenging. Yeah, so no worries. Yeah, and then let's bend your left leg. One option is to twist this way, away from your knee. Another option is to cross your left leg over the right. Really, only if it feels comfortable, really pull that left knee into your chest using your arms or your, your elbow. And then gently, slowly, just you can twist around to the left side, yeah. So just taking some nice deep breaths in and out. We're trying to gently twist a little bit. Yeah, gently stretch our left glute and just sort of breathe here for a bit. Yeah, so, <laughs> so if, if this doesn't feel comfortable to you, um, there's many other options. Yeah, if you feel comfortable, that's great. If not, other options, you can lie on your back, and you can cross one leg over and then pull your knee in to stretch your glute. That's another option. Another option is you can even sit on a chair and you can sit on a chair and cross your leg over and then hinge forward at your hips, yeah, to stretch your glute. That's an, another great option. Yeah, my mom is demonstrating. A wonderful option too. <laughs> Another great modification. Yeah. Good. And then, whenever you feel ready, yeah, uncross your leg, take it to the front. Let's just sit back for a moment and circle your ankles around. You can go into schlump, schlump asana. Good. And you can circle your ankles around the other way. You can spell your name really quick. And then let's sit up really nice and tall. Good. And sit up really nice and tall. And let's bend that right leg now 
and you can either twist over to the left or cross your right leg over. Really pull that right leg in close to your chest using your hands or your elbow, and then gently twist over to the right. Good. Really take some nice deep breaths in and out. And again, if you don't feel comfortable here, there's many op other options, so no worries yet. And just take some nice deep breaths in and out. Good. Imagine someone is pulling your head to the ceiling with a string. Good. And you're really opening up your shoulders. You can imagine that your back is like the like a lemon twist on a martini. Yeah. So it has that beautiful. <laughs> if that makes you happy, go for it. Good. <laughs> Nice and tall, whatever, you know, sometimes it's nice to think of imagery, yeah, to help you. And the posture. Good. And then whenever you feel ready, start to gently spiral back to the front. Good. And then let's take both of our or a pillow, and let's just take both of our hands up to the ceiling, good. And then you can place them down on the ground, and then you, with a straight spine, hinge forward at your hips, nice and long spine, good. And whenever you feel ready, you can gently relax forward, and here you'll feel a stretch in your back, and in your legs, yeah? So you'll feel a stretch in those two places, yeah? Your back and your legs, yeah? And it can be kind of, this is a challenging stretch, yeah? So you wanna make sure that you're in a place that feels comfortable, you know? Good, you, you shouldn't feel like you can't breathe, yeah? Um, you should, it should feel comfortable and, you should gently stretch by gently breathing. Yeah, you shouldn't feel like uncomfortable. Yeah. Good. And then whenever you feel ready, gently stretch your spine out nice and long. And let's come back up to a seated position. And then Let's just slowly make our way over to one side and we'll gently, let's gently slide down onto our, um, whichever side is fine, yeah, but onto one side, let's say our right side, and then hold your left foot with your left hand and gently just stretch your left quad, yeah. So we're just gently stretching our quad muscle while lying on our side yeah and you can just let your neck be nice and long still opening up your shoulders try to keep both of your hips facing in the same direction yeah so you don't want to have one hip opening more than the other and we're just gently stretching out our left quad good good just really gentle. And then whenever you're ready, you can gently let that foot go and then roll onto your back onto the other side, nice and smooth, like you're moving through water, and then gently stretch your other leg. Good, so you're gonna hold your foot um, if that feels comfortable to you. 
if that doesn't feel comfortable to you, another option is to wrap a strap around your ankle and then hold the strap. Um, if that feels better, yeah. Taking nice deep breaths, really breathing here. Just really breathing gently in and out. In this posture, we can even start to notice again how our breath is affecting our body how we inhale, maybe our stomach is expanding, our chest expanding, and our upper chest expanding. And as we exhale, how our upper chest deflates, chest deflates, and stomach deflates too. Really just breathing at your own speed and your own rhythm. And then whenever you feel ready, you can gently let that foot go. And then you can roll onto your back and practice any last posture that works for you. So you can practice any last posture that you would like. Um, or you can just go directly into um, a relaxation pose, yeah, if you'd like. So you can you can relax or you can go into a pose. You could take your knees to chest again if you'd like, or a happy baby pose, holding on to your feet or your legs or your ankles, whichever you'd like. And eventually you can just sort of start to make your way into a place to relax for a few minutes, really just feeling your back, um, connect to the floor, good. And really just breathing, really feeling your breath. And again, really just trying to relax your body. You can feel the back of your head on the ground, on the floor, nice and heavy. You can relax your neck. You can relax your shoulders and your chest and your hips. You can relax your feet and your hands and your arms and your legs. Really just take some nice deep breaths in and out. And as you breathe, just try to relax your body a little bit. And then whenever you'd like, you can start to just zone out for a few minutes and simply just relax. We'll be here for like one or two minutes just relaxing, but just so you know, the time is 11 o'clock if you have to go anywhere after this. Just so you know, but simply just relax and, and breathe for a minute or two.
And then whenever you feel ready, start to move your body in any way that feels natural to you. You can circle your feet around or circle your ankles around. You can circle your wrists around. You can scrunch up your feet. That's a great idea. Or scrunch up your hands. You can turn your head from side to side. Really any, any way. You can take a nice big stretch or yawn. Whatever would work for you. And then whenever you feel ready, you can start, you can roll onto one side and slowly make your way back up to a seated position. Good. Good. And then you can take a moment just to kind of like uh, notice your posture, notice your breath, how you're breathing. Are your shoulders open? Is your neck long? Is your face relaxed? Good. Is your breath, how are you breathing? Good. And then if you'd like, feel free to join me in the sound of calm, bringing your hands to heart center and taking a nice big inhale and calm. And Namaste. Namaste. Jai Bhagwan. And thank you so much for coming. Yay. Thank you, Vin. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Yay. Of course. Yeah. Hope you're doing well. Yeah. Okay. You? Doing okay. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I got a new computer, so that's exciting. Yeah. But. I did too. Is it great? <laughs> <laughs> what did What did you get? <laughs> I got a, a 13 inch um, MacBook Pro. I think I think I got I, you I got, got a, the lower one. Yeah. <laughs> we, First yeah. level. <laughs> For, yeah. It's yeah. Great. yeah. Yeah. They're both good. Like new is all the you know. <laughs> new, new is new. Yeah, it's very. I'm so excited that I can because they had a Chromebook before, which was great. Um, but I'm so excited I can like save stuff on my desktop now. It's very exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm doing these like dopey music things on Twitter. Oh, so it's, it's probably really helpful for that. It's yeah. super helpful for that. I, it, it, I can yeah. now edit video, whereas before I was tied to my phone, which was not very. Not great, yeah. I, I think, well, they said like, it's good for like video and sound stuff. Match. Yeah, if you get into any of that, I've been learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> happy, happy to share. I, oh, yeah. thank you. I, I might these dumb help. guitar cover songs for mental health. They're not <laughs> great. Oh, well, yeah. <laughs> I it love sounds it. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> could be really helpful. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> totally. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Definitely, yeah. But yay. Well, hi, Peter. This is my uncle Peter. Peter, hey. this is yeah, cousin Chris. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Chris Brewer. Yeah. I have an uncle Peter too, but but that's my dad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh. yeah. Here's me again. Oh. Anyway. Well, thank you for Thanks coming. Thanks for coming, everybody. Hey guys, it's nice to see everybody. Hope yeah. to see you next week. Yeah. Hope to see you next week. Yeah. 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 Bye, Chris. Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 <laughs> bye. Thank you for coming, Peter. Hey, Peter. Uh, you're muted. You're muted. I can't hear you. Wait, I'll try and unmute you. Um, you. Yeah. 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 How is bye. your how did it go? Good. Are you, are you not inflexible like I am? Oh, totally. I'm yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you need so, work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I've always I've always been that my whole life, you know. So yeah. yoga. I think yoga is probably